What the fuck is up? It is your West Coast Packer Backer. Higher point of view here to talk about the victory. I know y'all not Trojans, but you know, victory Monday on a Tuesday. Um, a win have never felt so better. Um, shout out to Adam James. Shout out to What's Up Nate. Shout out to a ranting Packers fan. We did that shit, you know. This is not a Super Bowl or anything like that, but uh, it was just fucking good to see the offense move the ball. And it was good to see some points scored. It was good. I'm just telling y'all everything I've seen. It was good to see a turnover. It was good to see a sack, you know. You got to crawl before you walk. Um, We're going to keep this video positive. You know, I was going to go a whole nother route with Kevin King, but we're going to, I'm a positive motherfucker. So, uh, we just going, we going, we going to talk about the positives only police behind me and shit. I don't know how positive that is, but, uh, it's California boy. This, that fun uncle shotgun OG that I had. I'm going to finish it out today, <coughs> but yeah, man, um, Okay, as far as defense, you guys, I don't think any first half, okay, we're going to come out like gangbusters and just get a turnover on the first, you know, we might possibly could get a three and out, but I don't even see that happening. I see a few first downs happening and then us stopping people. This is going to take a while for the defense, so a lot of you people, you know, it's cool, but uh, you have to let adjustments settle in far as the second half adjustments and just let your coaches trust your coaches and let them do what they do it was a fill out period some teams take longer than others especially a team that the defense is learning so it might be frustrating but it means a hundred percent thousand percent way more to me that uh because it could have been opposite remember last year we came out firing sometimes in the first half and in the second half we fall off you know that's on offense but uh still speaking about the defense uh yeah man just be patient you know this is not we're not gonna be a dominant defense this year it's just not gonna happen so uh you know when you see all these little first downs happening just take a motherfucking deep breath take a hit Take a swig of a beer or something. Just chill the fuck out and relax, okay? Because I believe, and especially in the first half of the season, we're going to be carried by the offense, which y'all should not be surprised about. So just any little baby step that we do on defense, just let's just congratulate and roll with it, and the baby steps are going to turn into giant steps, okay? But as far as right now, and especially the next few weeks, man, defense is not going to come out there first drive now. My God, I hope we do, and I just, man if i'm lying that's fucking great but uh i just don't see us being that defense yet or right now you know but it is very good to see especially from a linebacker give credits and props to fucking devondre campbell okay when the last time y'all seen a packers linebacker and i'm not talking about the edge rushers preston getting a tip and intercepting all that i'm talking about intercept the ball and then damn near take the shit to the house get some yards i'm talking about linebacker we ain't seen that in a while, man. You know, since shit. I might be fucking wrong, but since fucking A.J. Hawk days. I don't know. Nick Barnett. I don't know. It's been a while to me since we had a linebacker there in the middle who's doing his thing. And we must get his motherfucker credit. He's doing his thing. Now, he's not the fastest, but this nigga could cover. Obviously, you've seen that. He, he caught and he could catch. So, uh, kudos to you. I get your motherfucking ass the player of the game. You had like eight tackles. And then you had that interception, and it was critical, man. So, uh, shout out to the defense is getting better, man. And then, again, it is against Detroit. But, now, Detroit, I already told you guys about the weapons they had. But uh, they also have a good offensive line. So, it was good to see our D-line without Zadarius. You know, Garvin got in, got a sack. He put the pressure on to get uh, your boy that pick, I believe. So, uh you know, hey, defense, let's crawl before we walk. We got a long way to go. So, again, it only can get better, right? We're not going to regress. We're going to progress. So, uh, special teams, Kylan Hill. Yeah, Kylan Hill. Yeah, I talked about him before. Y'all know. Now, I have. you can revert to my video about him, you know, 
in the off season, I did a video about Kylan Hill. So if you need to know more about that, go check that video out. We're gonna stay with special teams. The kicker, Borhorquez. We don't. I don't know your name yet, bro. I'm working on it, Corey. You know, uh, good shit, bro. Bro, there was some like that. I forgot what kick it was. I don't know how many times he punted, but one, he put it like right in the corner where it needed to be. And actually our gunner, the guy who's supposed to, you know, he probably should have been there a little quicker and more accurate. The guy only popped off another five yards, but he kicked it to like the, the 10 or the eight yard line. That's what fuck we need, man. Fucking JK Scott would have kicked the shit and we would have been on a 40. Seriously, I've seen that shit happen. So uh, he's already had over heels better than J.K. Scott was. Kylan Hill is better than whoever the fuck we had returning kicks last year. We had fucking Jamal back there returning kicks. It was so bad. So uh, I'm glad uh, we got somebody steady back there who could return kicks. And Amari Rogers, uh, he received, you know, he didn't do anything, but he received a few punches. It's just good to see him catch the ball and, and just get familiarity with doing it because we're going to be using you. So we're going to have a short week. You know, uh, going to San Francisco, there was a point in time where they were our kryptonite. Now, we did beat them last year, but we all know their whole team was injured, and that's when we were on fire, and there was no fans. It's going to be a different story this time. Um, different result. I hope not. You know, you know, we got the necessary tools to beat them. I'm not going to say we don't, but uh, it's going to be a tough game because this kind of coaching staff, they're not if ands, or buts. You know what the fuck they're going to do to us. They are going to run the ball against us, you know? So uh, what we need to do, and again, let's talk about Joe Barry, too. Again, coach, good job with the second half adjustments, okay? And that's number one. I told y'all he should know about golf enough to do some shit to him, so he did. So now we're going to move on to Garoppolo. This motherfucker knows about Garoppolo, too. He was just in the NFC West, so... uh. I think that'll give us an advantage because we are playing a whole NFC West this year, which is the toughest division. Uh, I hope that really gives us advantage on the defensive side of the ball when we play them because he's used to playing Arizona twice a year. He's used to playing the Rams twice a year. He's used to playing San Francisco twice a year. So, uh, you know, hopefully this game plan is a lot easier for him than it was, uh, you know, a Detroit. But again, Detroit, he had the whole Jared Goff blueprint. So, uh you know, sometimes you got to look at coaching. Sometimes you got to look at advantages and disadvantages. Some might be powerful than other ones. So, you know, to me, obviously it's on the road. But uh, I'm thinking it's an even matchup right now. You know, so, uh, you know, I'm not trying to be a homer either. But, you know, I would say we're the more talented team, you know. But, uh, you know, we, we got a lot of shit that we need to put together. And, uh who knows if this is going to be in time by San Francisco, but uh, I know this. The offense needs to start fast and step it up. You know? Step it up. You did it against Detroit. We don't know how good Detroit is. You know? We shall see, but we do know they fight hard, and we do know they came back on the uh, Niners a little more than they came back on us, if you want to say anything. You know, and the Niners have a very stout defensive line, and I think they did a pretty decent job on Bosa and the, and the other guys. So, uh, you know, I don't know. So, this is going to be the measuring stick game right now, especially the early measuring stick game. But if you look at that schedule, man, it ain't it ain't too many breaks in that schedule. That's why I'm saying the game like Detroit, we should just take advantage of, and uh, they did. And again, we won in a division. Can't go wrong with that. Minnesota lost again. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. Chicago got a win. It's okay. You know, it's okay. I'm not worried about them. So uh, we have full control of the division again. So, and I believe Minnesota plays somebody brutal too this week. They might not be winning that. But uh, yeah, man, that's what I seen, man. You know, A-Rod doing his regular shit. Devontae showing up, doing what he's supposed to do. Aaron Jones took over the game. You know, now, see, this is what's going to happen now. You can't ignore four touchdowns, okay? So other teams, not that they weren't before, but they got a game plan for Aaron Jones a little bit, you know? So what does that do? That helps us because that helps us establishing the run early, and that helps us with the play action. If we can just pose a threat to run, 
Then the play action's wide open. Saints, we couldn't even open the door yet. We couldn't even pose a threat to the run because before we looked up, it was we were down 10-0. So we must start fast. And you know what? With this team only, you know, just in the beginning stage of the year, I think we should accept, receive the ball instead of deferring, okay? I'm a Madden specialist. They dropped the Aaron Jones card on Madden too. They ain't Madden on time with they shit. This morning I looked, I'm like, that is not a 92 Aaron Jones. Yes, it was. I don't get, I don't have them yet, but you know, we're going to work on that tonight. But um, I would have lost my train of thought thinking about Madden. Let me take a hit. But yeah, Aaron Jones, four touchdowns. <coughs> there's, there's not many times we're going to be able to say, you know, he scored four touchdowns. That's a lot of touchdowns to score in the game. And not only that, it was three receiving touchdowns. One of them, to me, I think should be credited as a rush. It's a touch pass. They say Aaron Rodgers did. But uh, to that's very rare, you know, as a you know running back like that to get three receiving touchdowns. And he still got a rushing touchdown. I was happy to see Lambo leaps again, bro. Pressure. We had some pressure. Gary got up in there. Shout out to Gary. Shout out to Garvin for stepping in and, and putting a little pressure on it. Shout out to Preston Smith, you know? The Forgotten Smith brother, you know? Z they both came together. It was the Smith bros. Then the second year, it just turned into Zadarius Smith bro. And now, it's Preston Smith bro. He he got to keep he got to keep it up while Z gone. You know what I'm saying? And then one other thing we could start looking forward to. We're going to get better regardless. Because did you forget Bakhtiari's on the way back? Did you forget Z's on the way back? We never really had Z. He was hurt all offseason. And he played, what, 18 snaps in the last game? Not going to get it done. So we started out the year without our best left tackle, the best left tackle in the game, and the best pass rusher. To most teams, those are the most two important positions on the field. And we're still doing without it. So keep that in mind. Z come back healthy. David comes back healthy. Slide Elton over. We're getting better already. Receiver's going to be getting better. Aaron admitted to missing MVS three times. Not just for three first downs, three touchdowns. So keep that in mind, man. We've yet to explode yet. You know, that wasn't an explosion. Tunyon did what he was supposed to do. Shout out to Bobby, you know, stepping it up. All this talk about TJ Hawkinson, which he bought out, but you know, Tunyon repaid him the favor. He said, no, it's my tight end camp. I invited you. Let me show you how it's done. But now we're gonna have to see Kittle next week, but I'm, I'm motherfucking ready for it. Let's motherfucking do it. And what I better see next week is some motherfucking Eric Stokes. I better see a lot more Eric Stokes. If not, it's gonna be a problem, but uh, they see it. Did you see that play now? Did you see the play when Kevin King gave up the touchdown? Yeah, I think Eric Stokes probably could have had the makeup speed to, 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 to do something about that. Because what we did see is Eric Stokes in the end zone swapped that bitch away. He swapped that bitch away. You know? When I seen that, I, I just felt, I, I just start clapping, man. That's what the fuck we need, man. Kevin would have somehow found a way to fuck that up. But I did uh, tell you guys I was going to be positive, but I just had to get that out. So, you know, you know who I got my eyes on, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not, you know, I'm not ignoring the, the elephant in the motherfucking room. It's not like the defense. We're Listen, anyway, I digress. I'm going to leave y'all with that, and I'm going to leave y'all with this. Uh, good fucking week, man. Good to get in the victory column. One and one. Got control of the division. Now it's time to, you know, let's start let's start adding these wins on top of each other. You know, let's start adding these wins on top of each other. But uh, we got a challenge this week. Early measuring stick. We're going to see what the fuck we made about. We're going to see what the fuck we made of. Police still behind me. It don't matter.